All right, folks, here is uh, some notes on 4.2 out of Big Ideas. That's how to find the slope of a line or the slope of the line that contains a specific two points. Um, so let's take a look here. What is the slope between the points 1, 3, and 2, 5? Graph the points and verify the slope using the triangle method. All right, well, first off, we have this slope formula. We use the letter m, the variable, to denote slope. And the slope is the ratio of rise over run. And we can use the slope formula because our y, our change in y, determines the rise. Uh, I can find the rise by following this, y2 minus y1. And because our x values, our change in x, determines the run, I will say x2 minus x1. And it is important that you always have the y's on the top and the x's on the bottom. It does make a difference. Um, so, it turns out I can think of either one of these points as being point 0.1 or point 0.2. Um, in fact, I'll do it both ways just so we can be sure. So, uh, firstly, I'm going to consider this point to be my second point and this point to be my first point. So, using the slope formula, m is equal to um, y2 minus y1. So, that's the y2, that's the second value, or the y value of the second point, that's 5, minus the y value of the first point, that's y value of the first point, that's 3. And um, on the bottom we have x2 minus x1, that's the x value of the second point, 2. And minus the x value of the first point, that's 1. Now, simplifying this, I get 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. My slope is 2 over 1, which, of course, is the same thing as just 2. Okay? Slope is 2. Now let's try it the other way. Okay? Now I'm going to consider this to be my second point and this to be my first point. Okay, so I'm looking at the y value of the second point minus the y value of the first point. That's 3 minus 5. And the x value of the second point minus the x value of the first point. x value of the second point minus the x value of the first point. 1 minus 2. So my numbers are just backwards. Okay, they're backwards, which is going to change the positive negative value. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. The negatives cancel out. A negative number divided by a negative number is a positive number, which leaves me with 2 over 1, which is the same as just this number um, 2. Should have done this guy in red, too. Okay. So my slope is 2 in either case. Uh, let's actually graph this and use the triangle method um, to confirm it. So if I'm graphing this, I have the points 1, 3. Yeah, that's 1 along the x-axis, 3 along the y-axis. 1, 3. And the point 2, 5, that is 2 and 5. Okay. I've got these two points. Now I can graph them using a straight edge and lining, up, lining it up as closely as possible. That's what my line looks like. That's what my line's going to look like. Now, triangle method says I should be able to make right triangles, rise over run. Um, yeah, so let's draw ourselves a right triangle. Let's see my rise. I'll try to keep this color coded. I'm using my Y as the rise. Um, that's up to and over one. So verified. Point to point, up to over one. Uh, 
that is verification. Now, I should be able to do that from the bottom all the way to the top. I should be able to go up to, should we go up to over one, up to over one, up to over one, up to over one, and it works. Okay, so that is our triangle method, and that is finding the slope between two points. Hope that's helpful.